Hi, my name is uh, Lin Tong, and we are from the Oxford Robotic Institute. Here we're presenting a multi-camera camera, visual inertia dormitory pipeline. And that's the hardware here where we were also doing a live demo uh, for the last hour. So uh, the idea here is by using multiple cameras, fuse them together, we should get a more robust uh, yeah. system and have more accurate state estimation as well, uh, especially in this sort of a very challenging environment. Yeah. Uh, so Is it four cameras? Yes, exactly, four cameras. Okay. But uh, with uh, more camera you added, we sort of propose the general framework that you can add as many cameras as you want. But then, of course, the problem comes the computation become a constraint. Yeah. So uh, we also further propose two other novel methods to address this issue. One of them is to tracking features from one camera to another. So you're passing on the information to another one to reduce this sort of uh, the new features being uh, detected. And yeah. the second part is doing sort of feature selection. So you don't have to actually optimize all the features. You need to select the, what's the most informative one and then use that into your optimization backend. So that would just speed up the system. Yeah, and yeah. so is this, is this actually writing the videos to disk as well? Um, and doing anything with the data or is it just the features you're extracting? So here we are doing a live. So we're not writing anything down to the disk. We can, if you like, yeah. but uh, it's doing a live tracking. So if, uh, let's say, you know, I move it here, you can see that, uh, you know, I rotate it around. You can see the, the post inside the, uh, inside, the, inside the viewer, right? So if I do some rotation, you can see that, right? Left and right. Yeah. And now if I cover, let's see, these cameras, you know, it still works. If I cover the one on the right, you can see my hand, you know, I do some rotation you know, should still be fine. So there's yeah. redundancy. Exactly, the redundancy, robustness, and accuracy comes in uh, in this pa little package here. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so we don't actually, uh, because we have this uh, system ready, so we don't actually a lot of evaluations, uh, not, not just by using public data set, because there's not actually many uh, for, not at all for multi-camera. So we have went to a, uh, sort of a challenging environment, such as like uh, stairs, large open space and shaking it very aggressively, yeah. you know, like uh, doing my, you know, daily exercise. Um, and then those data set, we also made it in public for the community. So that's yeah. the separate workshop paper we have there um, to, sh uh, you know, to show uh, they can, you know, run the same data set as a, a much harder benchmark for yeah. visual inertia uh, autometry. So yeah. you're saying there's not a lot of, I mean, there's, there's a good amount of robots out there with multiple cameras, but maybe the data set is not available? Exactly. You're saying? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then um, it's important, uh, it's not only data set, you also need the ground truths to evaluate your system, yeah. right? So uh, here, that's why we have the LiDAR on top, because okay. uh, we actually use a survey grade LiDAR in there to map the home environment. Yeah. And then the LiDAR on there, while you are collecting your data, it also collected the scans. So then you can register your scans in this prior map you already built. Yeah. Uh, that provides ground truths for the camera system. So as an academic, uh, often you have to uh, not just make it work, now you start evaluating how good it is. Yeah. Wow. Okay, interesting. Yeah. And so uh, I guess, what are the applications that you're looking for um, this to be used in? So because now we have made it quite a compact sort of a handheld yeah. one, so the idea is can be put on any robotic platforms. So the ones, the ones we use is our legged robots, we use it on the drones. Uh, so uh, any robotic platform as you like. Okay. Yeah. Or simple, just a handheld if you want to do, uh, you know, uh, mapping an environment. Uh, yeah. And if you want to change the form factor and change the positions of the cameras, uh, yeah. is all you need to do tell the model, like, what the transformation is camera to camera? Correct. Exactly. As long as there's, it seems like there needs to be some overlap. So uh, overlap is a nice thing to have. If you have it, to use it, use it. But if it doesn't have it, the general framework of, uh, uh, they can be anywhere in space. It doesn't have to be overlapping. Awesome. Yeah. So the overlapping would just uh, bring an additional advantage. You have feature going from one to the other camera to in improve the accuracy. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. No worries. Thank you.